Good morning, my darlings. There is a lot of bird song going on in the garden this morning. I think it's going to be a rather glorious day. I thought I would give you a quick little garden update. We are still very behind where we should be growth-wise for this time of year, but a lot of the alliums are getting very close to coming out. The herbaceous border is slowly but surely coming back to life. The wisteria is coming through. That's going to look incredible in a week or so. Here's my Dexie. Good morning, my Dexie. Oh, you're so lovely. I get easily distracted. Hello, my boy. You coming in the garden with you, mommy? Come on then. Outside the greenhouse, we have some of the tallest alliums I have ever seen. My goodness. And a few down here are properly coming out. Just need everything else to fill out so that it doesn't <laughs> look like a an allium there by itself. Church bells ringing for 7 a.m. Now I need to do quite a lot of maintenance down here this weekend because lots of little weeds have started to grow up, which is a good sign because it means that the soil is full of nutrients, but um, I don't want lots of weeds in my raised beds, so I need to do that this weekend. But my goodness, that row of radishes is almost <laughs> ready to harvest. We've got pak choy absolutely bursting out of this cloche. It's my grounding and my gardening all in one. I'm gonna take this lid off actually. Wow, I guess I'll be having pak choy omelette for the next couple of weeks. And finally some lettuce as well that has matured and we've got my, my Asian greens in here. So finally lots that I can harvest. And then very excitingly I spotted round here, I'm not sure if these are actually peas or mange too, but I have got my first little pods. I think they might be mange too, so I might be able to pick those and start eating them. How exciting. And then as you can see, we've got rows of new peas and mange too coming through. Another one here. Very exciting. It's like a forest of rhubarb over here. There is so much to harvest, so I think I'd better come down this weekend, oh my gosh, and plan some more rhubarb recipes. And down here in the very wild cut flower garden, we have got the peonies starting to come through. That is very exciting. Lots of peonies. That's going to be a rather mega poppy over there. It won't be long until the colour starts to come through, I think. Very, very exciting. And just a quick wildflower turf update. It's getting pretty tall. <laughs> Still very green, not much foliage coming through yet. Uh, sorry, not much flower, it's all foliage. But that's looking very exciting. Gosh, listen to all the birds. Beautiful. proper good morning to you my darlings it is Thursday morning I've got day three hair so I'm gonna put in some living proof dry shampoo this is the dry shampoo that I use if I actually want my hair to look and feel cleaner apparently this does actually clean your yeah it says actually cleans hair eliminates oil sweat and odor can't say that I've got much odor <laughs> I hope
it still feels very clean. This is the wash from when I got my hair coloured. I've not washed it since <laughs> going to the hairdresser. Um, I always find that they wash it so well and so, like they scrub it so well that I don't feel like I need to wash it for a little while. Um, anyway, and what you're meant to do is leave it in your hair for like a minute and then massage it in and then brush it. So. That's what I'm gonna do, and then it's gonna be a ponytail kind of day. Um, so funnily, I noticed that lots of you were buying this dress from my links lately. This is the Zimmerman gorgeous wrap dress that I actually bought and wore last year. So I don't know where you're finding it, but I have an app on my phone that shows me the analytics behind um, what you guys are buying, and it's really useful, and I do, ooh, Fling your phone on the floor, woman, why don't you? Um, yeah, I do find it really interesting to see what you guys are buying through my links and it helps me to like ensure that I'm on track and showing you stuff that you like. If suddenly that was just showing nothing, I would know that I was doing something a bit wrong. But for the last week, this has been the number one item, so I don't know where you guys are finding it, because um, I've not spoken about it in a while, but I thought I would wear it again, and if we can find it in stock somewhere, then we'll leave it linked down below, because it really is gorgeous. And especially times like this, when you're ready to start wearing spring summer dresses, but you need something long sleeve. I love it. I also chose it quite tactically, because today I have got a wedding dress appointment, so we're going to see the lady who is actually making my dress, and I think it's going to be quite a big one today, quite a big appointment because the structure of the dress should be finished. <laughs> if you didn't watch my Q&A, you might be like, what are you talking about? Basically, sorry, I'm struggling with the lighting a little bit this morning. Basically, I am designing <laughs> my wedding dress and I have found a very talented lady and a team to actually bring my design to life, which is really, really exciting. So we're going to see the team today um, and I thought this dress <laughs> being a wrap dress will be very easy to whip on and whip off. I've also just been putting together a little goodie bag of, wow that's quite heavy, of products that I am taking the team just because why not and also this morning I was trying out a few new products. Sorry this lighting is mental, I don't know what the weather's doing today. Oh, cold coffee. That is not the one. I have some new products here from Kiko Milano. This is the Beauty Raw pH Matte Liquid Lip Color. Do you know what? I'm just gonna go and brush my teeth and then I will pop that on. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, this lighting really is quite awful considering it's a sunny day outside. Just had another little look in this um, pouch which arrived from Kiko and there's also a Beauty Raw 2-in-1 Creamy Styler with a universal lip liner and I'm intrigued because it's actually clear. So how does that work? I wonder if it kind of acts like a block so that your lipstick doesn't um, like run into your skin because it's not giving any colour. I'm really confused. <laughs> Confused.com, but I love the sound of this um, liquid lip colour and it is such a beautiful shade and I always find products like this are very long lasting. Oh yes. Okay, that is absolutely gorgeous. So this is the shade 01. Um, yeah, just 01 and it's like a slightly corally... Is that any better? No, slightly corally, pinky, nudey, brownie, just a combination of all of the shades that I want my lips to be. Love that, and it's very balmy and comfortable. I feel like that's gonna last all day. Love it. We've also got a metallic gold liquid eyeshadow. Love the look of that. Um, and volumizing and curling mascara. I love this packaging, it's like a soft, matte, oh, it's blue, <laughs> the mascara is blue, okay, um, not quite my vibe, but very interesting, and multi-finish eyeshadow palette, oh, that's rather lovely, some really pretty colours in that, and I love this packaging, light pink, little matte, kind of like a little, little pebble, lovely, okay, so I'm just going to go get my bits and bobs together, um, and then we've got a little road trip for the wedding dress, try on. 
I'm going to wear the Floral Street White Lotus or Black Lotus. I think it's Black Lotus. Yeah, Black Lotus. Black Lotus, White Lotus was a TV show. White Lotus. Black Lotus. <laughs> Perfume. Mm. Oh, it's so lovely. Oh, it's smoky. Mm. Cute decorated street with all the bunting, just on a mission for a coffee or a little snack. And just like that, I am back home again. I couldn't show you anything during that meeting without showing you everything. Um, and I need to save something as a bit of a surprise, but I found out today as well. So that was my fourth um, appointment with the atelier. Let me know if you'd like to see a video after the wedding of like the full process and because I have been filming a couple of snippets each time um, and I'm going to have to have two more appointments. The final appointment being the pickup appointment is pretty much going to be a full day appointment because lots of little tweaks <laughs> will have to be made but it is half past three now and I am Marvin Orama. <laughs> And if you don't understand my quips, that means I'm very, very hungry. But while I was away, we had our all plants delivery and they just always know, they always know when I'm going to need them. We had actually run out because over the um, bank holiday weekends in the evenings, we were just like, we have spent the entire day cooking or preparing food while we've had guests over and there is nothing that we wanted to do less than <laughs> start cooking again. So we managed to get through all of them. So I had to do a pretty big top up of all of my favorites. For those of you that potentially have not heard me raving about all plants before, they are the most delicious and nutritious, that was a tongue twister, chef prepared plant-based meals. The selection that they have on the website now is absolutely astronomical. They have so many different dishes and they are all designed to have, I believe they're all at least two of your five a day. To be honest, they're probably like all of your recommended daily allowance because they are packed with really nutritious, delicious plant-based ingredients. As Tim, Tim Spector says, we all need to aim to have around 30 different plants each week to be giving us the optimal diversity of good bacteria in our gut microbiome. You guys have heard me raving about it a lot before. Um, but this time I really just ordered lots of my favorites. So. We all know how much of a fan I am of mac and cheese. This, I would say, is a slightly healthier version. It is the mac and greens. I think it's a, yeah, <laughs> with cashew cream. These are the slightly smaller portions, portions for one. I would say if you're a very, very hungry person, if you're gonna have like a really big meal, then you could get away with eating a two person portion for one person. But normally if Charlie and I are sharing, then obviously we'll get a two person portion. So mac and greens, that is delicious. Something that I love about these is that it enables me to have a really quick evening or lunchtime like now meal without having to spend ages in the kitchen, but equally I'm not reaching for like a frozen meal that is unhealthy and packed with nasty ingredients because these are just proper wholesome ingredients. I think when I started learning, and I mentioned this last time, when I started learning about gut health, I was thinking, oh gosh, so basically any food that's easy to prepare is bad for you. But that's not the case because with these you're getting so much goodness. So for example, this says high in protein, three of your five a day, low in saturated fat, high in iron, high in vitamin C. I mean, look at all the goodness that you're getting in here. So many yummy things. Do I want to have this now? That's an option for now. Miso and tamari Buddha bowl. I just love the flavors of miso and tamari. They are two of my favorite flavors of all time. So I got two, oh, <laughs> I got three of those. Yummarillo. Something that I love, but can very rarely be bothered to actually make is risotto. So I thought I would try this one. Sauteed trouble mushroom also. Yum. And then finally, I had to order my absolute favorite, my all time favorite. This is the sticky teriyaki udon noodles. I would say realistically, this will probably take me 30 minutes to make this if I made it from scratch. I don't have all of these ingredients in my house. Chestnut mushrooms, spoy cabbage, molasses, sesame oil, garlic, ginger, harissa, apple puree, spring onion. Something that I have, I don't want to say become obsessed with, but become 
more aware of is reading the ingredients on the back of things and I love that when you read the ingredients on the back of these it's all stuff that you recognize it's not a load of chemicals nothing beginning with X <laughs> um, and it's all just stuff that I recognize like edamame carrot mushroom noodles soybeans ginger so it's all stuff that our body recognizes and knows what to do with which is fantastic you can um i always think it tastes a little bit better in the oven however i as i said am marvin <laughs> so i'm gonna put this in the microwave microwave for seven minutes um so i'll do that and then i will share with you my epic discount code Okay, it is in the microwave and I'm so excited to eat that it is so delicious I have been I've had the pleasure of working with all plants for over a year now and it's just a brand that I absolutely love I think it's amazing to bring such quick easy nutritious meals to those of us that are time poor whether we're vegan plant-based or just like Charlie and I short on time and want to eat things which are good for us um, and also if you live in the middle of nowhere having your freezer stocked with yummy food is a game saver game saver game changer because we don't have any delivery services where we live I was just organizing the freezer with all the new meals and I found this and I thought I'd eaten them all so this is fantastic news this is one of the all plants sticky banoffee puddings oh my goodness they are delicious again we actually often bring these out at dinner parties because Charlie and I will very rarely have the time or remember to make a pudding and sometimes if our guests are plant-based and we're like oh god what do we do all we can offer you is yogurt normally um so it's just really handy to have these in the freezer for your plant-based and non-plant-based guests because they're so delicious but I need to order some more of those because that was the last one also, I have a request for you all plants. They do make the lovely smoothie pouches, which I love, but my request is an all plants acai berry bowl. How amazing would that be? That is my request, please all plants. And I did promise you my discount code details. It's actually an epic discount. You guys are gonna love this if you've not tried all plants before. The deal is, wowza. 45% off your first box, which is amazing. 15% um, off your second and third boxes. And to get that amazing offer, you need the code JOSIEX45. I'll leave that on the screen here. And there'll be a link to get this amazing discount in the description box down below. So make the most of it. Let me know if you guys are already loving all plants. Let me know when you eat your all plants. Is it a lunchtime thing for you? Is it a end of the day, can't be able to cook kind of thing. Is it a Friday night treat? Is it your everyday dinner? Let me know. And I'm just rambling now to take my mind off the fact that I've got four minutes left on the microwave. So I'm gonna get my plate and my cutlery ready to enjoy. Oh, I just heard it go. Time flies. It smells so good. I love how when on instructions it says when something's finished cooking let it stand for one minute does anyone ever do that or are you guys impatient like me and just want to eat it straight away yum, yum, yum. and here it is my tamari udon noodles we have got so many lovely veggies in here from cabbage we've got carrots we've got edamame and then lots of delicious noodles which will keep me full all afternoon i'm excited to tuck in bon appetit and I'll leave my all plants info linked down below. Okay, my darlings, we are back up in the dressing room. I had to make myself a little coffee, or oh, large, very large <laughs> coffee, mm. for a little afternoon treat. And that was delicious, by the way, so tasty and so easy. I decided last week to treat myself to a little Chanel beauty, I'm not gonna use the word haul, order um very much inspired by all the posts that i saw everywhere for sophia ritchie's wedding makeup um ooh, and a few bits that i just thought seemed like quite iconic bits from the chanel range so 
So I do a little unboxing with you. This is very jazzy packaging. Comes in this little bag, and then you open it up like so. Hmm, I think I've got some little free samples. How lovely. Allure Homme Sport, little fragrance sample for men. Chanel Paris Le, Le e de Chanel, <laughs> fragrance for women. And then, I forgot that I actually ordered two of these lipsticks. So obviously I got the shade, um, I think it's 928, that was Sophia Ritchie's actual wedding lipstick. Now, this is not gonna be the best opportunity to try it because my lips are very dry right now. But this is meant to be a balm. Really beautiful packaging, look at this. You've got this white tube with a yellow gold Chanel logo, yellow gold band. Oh, that does look rather lovely. I might put some actual balm on my lips first. Can you hear that very loud aeroplane? I find the Bi Terry Balm de Rose sinks in very quickly. That is such a pretty colour. It's a real kind of peachy, pretty pink. That is exactly what I was hoping for. Do I look like Sophia Ritchie? <laughs> no is the answer to that, but this is a seriously pretty lip balm. Mm. I can tell that's going to be a regular favourite, so they'll probably live in my handbag. I do find with these things as well, yes it's expensive, obviously it's Chanel, but I do find that they last a very long time. And then I also chose the shade 914, which is natural cream, or creme, oh no, natural charm, and it's a little bit browner. I thought that could be a really nice everyday colour, and if it's not quite right for me, so it's a little bit deeper than I thought it was going to be, then I think it'll be perfect for my mum. I think she'll love that one. So I got a couple of those, and then I seem to remember this being like a beauty blogger favourite of all time. It is the Le Beige Soleil Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream. And again, I've, I've heard a lot of people talking about this. I have heard a few people saying that the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer is very similar. It is a cream bronzer. So I guess it applies in the same kind of way. But yeah, I've heard a lot of people raving about this. It's going to be so perfect that I'm not going to want to try it. But I will. For you guys, I will. So I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury little brush. Oh, it's quite solid. It's more solid than Charlotte Tilbury. So I guess that means you pick up a little bit less product. Ooh, it's a little bit airbrushy. I quite like that it looks a little bit more natural than the Charlotte Tilbury. Probably because you naturally pick up less product. Well, that's obviously the world's quickest try-on over the top of day-old makeup, which didn't last very well today. I used not my normal foundation, and yeah, it didn't last very well. It went very patchy, but that seems to have given a little bit of glow and a little bit of life to my complexion. So, lovely. Two very nice little treats from Chanel Beauty. Wonderful. Okay, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. Now, I'm just waiting for my phone to buzz to find out if we're going to George and Petra's for dinner tonight. Um, I don't know if we are or if we're not. And if we're not, then I'm going to get out of this dress and into my gardening clothes. So we have decided we're going to do dinner with George and Petra tomorrow because the plan, I think, is to go to the pit kitchen. And it's just not the nicest of evenings today. <sighs> That's Dickens <laughs> howling at the sheep in the field next door. Um, so I did put on my a nice little fleece and Amazon. <laughs> that was such a dorky little outfit shot. Amazon leggings um, to do gardening, but I actually just can't be bothered to do any gardening this afternoon, which is very unlike me because normally I'm just desperate. But um, it's kind of chilly and kind of grey this afternoon, and I know it's going to be sunny on Saturday, and we have no plans this Saturday which is amazing because normally we have so many plans on weekends but we actually have none this Saturday so that means we'll probably spend the entire day gardening however I'm just going to give you a little update I know I gave you one this morning but I feel like so much has changed literally just in today mental um doesn't look quite as magical as it did this morning but 
I swear, like you guys literally saw this a few hours ago. Does this border not look fuller to you? Like, hasn't everything just grown? I don't know if I'm going mad, um, but these alliums, I put these on my Instagram stories this morning and they were closed. Now they are open. <laughs> this is madness, absolute madness, I'm telling you. I shouldn't really think anything has changed <laughs> down here. That'd be crazy if it had. Um, but yeah, I mean, I just need to really... D Why are my sweet peas so rubbish this year? I think everything is just growing so slowly this year, aside from obviously the pak choy, because the weather has been so diabolical. I do need to do quite a lot of weed plucking. Cannot wait to eat some salads from the garden when they're ready. Ah, do you know what? Do I want to sit and watch TV or do I want to make something out of rhubarb? I think I'm just going to go and sit inside and have a look at some recipes to inspire me. And look at this, my horseradish is flowering. <laughs> what beautiful little flowers. So gorgeous. This is the second half of the Elemis cake, the cake from the dinner earlier in the week. And I feel like because I had my lunch quite late, I'm probably not going to have a very big dinner. So I think I'm just going to treat myself to half of this remaining slice of Elemis cake. <laughs> maybe the cake has given me a sugar hit, or maybe it's because the sun is trying to come out, but I've decided I am going to do a little bit of garden tidying. Even if I at least... <laughs> my helpers even if I at least just get rid of the weeds in the raised beds then I'll feel productive so I'll take my bucket of finished bits and here is proof that things have grown today because this morning I was looking at this being like why is nothing germinating and then today well now this afternoon We've got two little signs of life. Very, very exciting. Although, that says runner bean, and that very much looks like a courgette seedling to me. I just want to show you this. Sorry, not a very flattering angle. Not very flattering at all, but I just pulled this up thinking it might be a weed, but that is so clearly a tiny baby spring onion. It literally looks like a mini spring onion. How adorable. What a gorgeous evening it has turned out to be. After that drizzle stopped me from gardening earlier. Dixie! Alliums are on their way. I just brought Charlie down to the kitchen garden to show him my mange too. Excuse me? No, leave mummy's yoghurt alone. And we also have our first Little radishes. Bring on Charlie's puns every evening saying, that's radishing. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. <clears throat> Got our first little carrot starting to come through as well. Very exciting. Gosh, it has turned into a lovely evening. We've just been admiring the herb bed in this beautiful evening light. Where's your brother? Hmm? <laughs> I spotted that and I thought the same actually. No, definitely not. We've got a couple of new lavender balls since I was last down here that have gone in. It always amazes me how quickly lavender just sort of regenerates. 
Mm. So like all this is new growth. This was all looking quite woody. Mm. Like this was all looking like this a couple of weeks ago. That's yeah. the same lavender as before. Yeah, and now look how lush. Oh it my is. gosh, I thought you were This is all the established it. stuff. No, so this was all here last year, and then what we've kind of decided is. So the, the salvias are in between, and I thought it, a lavender ball either side, and then lavender there. Mm. And then now we've obviously planted more lavender up to the water feature. Yeah. It's all Hidcote lavender. Oh, cheers. Dixie. On, right? It's all um, Hidcote lavender, so it's the English lavender, which I do think is the nicest, because it's just the little single stem lavender. Mm. It's really Funny, beautiful. Look, this collects like a clump, look. Ooh. Don't know where That's it's come lovely. from. That's lovely. Picking it out. We've got one lot we got one water lily that survived. Oh you're kidding. Oh. I don't know. Some of the others down there have got leaves coming out, but I don't hmm. I don't know. Well, I don't know actually. <laughs> that one looks like it is still living. We'll have to see. <laughs> Just wanted to show you the wisteria on the coach house as well. It's a different type of wisteria to one the one that's growing on the house. It's got a bigger dangle to it, but it's looking rather magical look at this such beautiful little blooms stunning it finally feels as though we're getting somewhere with the garden this is my favorite tree when it comes into blossom it's a very old gnarly apple blossom but it's looking rather beautiful look at this endless blossom and I love that now it's mirrored over here with the espaliered one against the back wall. That was such a good decision from Charlie. The tulips are starting to die back now, but it's fine because everything else is finally catching up. Hello, my Dexie. And confetti season has begun underneath this blossom tree. It's so beautiful. Oh, I just felt a spit of rain. The grapevine coming back into leaf investigated by Dexy, and this herbaceous border weirdly is looking so much more full than the one outside our door that has got to be one of the tallest alliums that's over a meter my goodness that's crazy some of them are just ginormous i mean look look how thick that allium stem is that's going to be a monster this is starting to take over little Little low and fat alliums down here, very sturdy. The Nepeta, all getting ginormous. Yeah, the tulips, sadly just coming to the end. Hydrangeas coming back to life. A couple of flowers on this wisteria, that's gonna look amazing before too long. Oh, I just love our evening garden walks at this time of year. Even more so now that I know the health benefits of going for a walk after your evening meal. Oh my gosh. No, this has got to be the tallest allium in the world. This allium is nearly as tall as I am. Oh my gosh. Crazy. Oh, it's going to look so amazing here. A couple of weeks and everything will be in bloom. Including this giant climbing hydrangea. morning my darlings it's now friday morning i am back in the fleece knitwear because it <laughs> feels like we've gone back to winter never mind so today started with a very very active called the athletic reformer pilates class with alex it was a very lively and very energetic pilates at bamford and then went back home and did a little bit of um, admin on the laptop something that we had in the diary to do today was ted to nicholson's we are looking at some plants that we need to plug in the holes in our garden ready for the wedding so that is what's on the agenda this morning
bits and bobs here that we could use for filling in any gaps in the herbaceous borders. Veronica, that's pretty. It's like a cross between a lupin and a salvia. Beautiful. Alcamilla is something else which is really fantastic for a herbaceous border. We have got this in our um, herbaceous border along the back wall outside the front door and it's one that just grows and quadruples in size in a matter of a month and then you get this beautiful really bright almost lime greeny yellow flower and it almost acts as a cross between a flower and a foliage for your flower displays. We've got some lovely lupins here as well beautiful white ones. It's be a great place to come to set up your herbaceous borders. Plant hall. Hello again my darlings. Apologies for the severe lack of vlogging today. Um, and, uh, I've been not really in the mood to vlog that much today but I need to snap out of it. So I'm actually just going to quickly top up my makeup for the afternoon. It's four o'clock already on a Friday. I just need to watch back a video um, to see if I need to make any amends before that goes live at the weekend and I thought I would do that while I'm just quickly topping up my makeup. Seems to have <laughs> largely vanished for today. I've just refreshed my skin with the Cordly Beauty Elixir. Love that. And yeah, I'm just gonna basically put a little bit more makeup on top of what is currently on my face to bring some life back into my complexion. idea if you'll be able to see any difference but I have just done a very quick top up. Um, nothing really new to talk about. I used the Flawless Fusion Concealer from Laura Mercier. I used my usual Dior bronzer and then I think I also yes and then I also used the Dior Couture Color Blusher which is quite a nice like healthy ooh, peachy blush. I used my Merit mascara really lovely and i popped on the charlotte tilbury i think it's bitch perfect not that one or bitch please no bitch perfect not pitch perfect bitch perfect <laughs> lipstick from charlotte tilbury so that is my makeup officially topped up we are heading out in 45 minutes to go and get a pit kitchen which is a pop-up here in the Cotswolds um, this will be our first time going this year because it only runs during the summer months I think they've only been open for like a week and I think they've been shut five days of that week because of awful weather so we like to go and support them and we're gonna head there this evening however in that 45 minutes before we go, I'm going to show you some new, mostly dresses, in my wardrobe. Had a delivery today from And Other Stories. I placed this order as soon as I received the customer email about this new collection because you'll see this dress that I'm about to try on is such a Josie dress. Um, and then I've got a few other dresses that have arrived lately from PR from a brand called By Melina. And I've got a couple of Leo Lynn dresses too. So let's do a little dress try on okay dress number one and this is the dress from and other stories which i received the email and looked at the collection and i was like oh my gosh i have to have this dress it is is it not just the most me dress in the entire world i love it so much it is the most beautiful silhouette you have got a little bit of elastic around the waist and obviously i'm going to add a belt. It, I'm surprised it doesn't come with a bit of fabric actually. It'd be quite nice if it came with a bit of fabric to tie. Let's just do the belt. Um, I feel like, I hope you guys have got one of these, a raffia belt. This one has come off a Zimmerman play suit, but I do regularly share with you one um, which I got from Amazon with little scallops on it. I'll leave that one linked down below. I think you can buy the Zimmerman ones without having to buy the matching skirt that it comes with or yeah um but instantly i love how that looks it does have a kind of sleeve like 
sleeve like shirt like sleeve and if you look closely a really pretty little ruffle detail the pattern is a an arty kind of flower i think it's a buttercup very very pretty i don't currently have any shoes on but i would like to show you these so one of my favorite pairs of shoes not one of my most worn pairs but one of my favorite pairs of shoes in my wardrobe are my little pearly mules from tory birch and they're very old i've never seen anything similar and then i saw these on another stories and they're covered in pearls i think they are so delicate and so pretty i'm gonna try these on in a second because i can't oh, i can't help but feel that the more obvious choice is of course these my little aquazuras which have just been the best investment of all time and then a little basket bag there we go that is a classic Josie summer outfit right there. I absolutely love it. This is also from Amazon. I know loads of you have picked this up already. Couldn't recommend it any more highly. I think the price on some of these Amazon pieces does fluctuate. When I got this, it was £19 and I have got a lot of price per wear out of this. So this is the dress styled with raffia belts, raffia shoes, raffia bag. But another way to do it is with a little white ribbon belt and hopefully again you guys have got something like this already a lot of the dresses that i speak about here on my channel come with something like this it's always worth just taking it off the dress when you take the dress off for the day and i have one of a few of these actually a few different thicknesses rolled up next to my belts so i can just grab one whenever i want it that gives it a different finish to the raffia belt and then I have paired with the very fun little pearly sandals. I've got to say they're quite a wide fit. I have got quite narrow feet. Um, and then I think the pearls from the shoes and the pearls from this bag are just tied together so perfectly. Spoiler alert, day two of our wedding is a garden party. And this would be the perfect thing for our guests to wear, or even for me to wear, to be honest, on our garden party day. If you've got anything fabulous coming up in your diary, like Chelsea Flower Show, or a race day, or a day at the polo, or a day at the tennis, or something lovely like that, or you've just been invited around a friend's house for a summer tipple, then this is just perfect. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. The only downside, which I feel is a huge oversight from And Other Stories, is the back. So you've got a little hole here, which I don't mind, but if I scoop my hair away, you can see it's actually a button down finish here and you need help. You need someone to help you to do those buttons up. I've only done the top and the bottom one, which is very annoying. So I'd have to get someone else to, to do up the rest of them. And there are like eight buttons there. So that's not a quick thing. I kind of just wish it was plain at the back didn't need that open back detail. It would have been great if it was buttoned down all the way and then a sneaky little side zip. Just checking that there isn't a sneaky little side zip. I don't think so. Ooh. No, no zip. Um, but yeah, that does not stop me from absolutely loving it. I feel like this will sell out quite quickly. <laughs> I really hope it's still in stock. If not, I would probably use a um, that app. I've worked with them so many times, not Shopify. You know the app <laughs> where you save products and you get a notification when it comes back in Shop Tagger. Use Shop Tagger and get a notification when it comes back because I think that this will be worth the wait. Up next, and I'm going to try and be a little bit speedier because we need to leave in 20 minutes of pit kitchen. This gorgeous number from Misa. Misa, and I was eating miso noodles <laughs> earlier today. Anyway, I've gone a bit mad. Misa Los Angeles, uh, they are a really gorgeous brand. Designs that are just very wearable, but also a little bit bold as well. Bold, but wearable and very colorful. I love this. It's one of those summer day dresses, which is so easy to throw on. We all know how I love a smocked bodice. And I love how the sleeves come in three bouffant sections. So you've got a little ruffle at the end. You've got this big, poof in the middle and then you've got a medium sized poof at the top and I do love a poof within my sleeves. Um, lovely length, really, do you know what? 
I just thought this would be a fantastic pregnancy dress because this is completely, obviously, loose because it's smocked. If you were trying to hide a baby bump, this would be perfect. I'm not, but um, this <laughs> would be really good for any friends of mine that are trying to hide a baby bump because also the pattern discombobulates you. So you wouldn't look for the bump, you'd look for the pattern. You could definitely get away with I'd say up to like six months maybe, but you could probably wear this right up to nine months because it's like, I mean, depends how big your baby is. But yeah, anyway, as a non-pregnant person, I also think this is gorgeous. Very bold pattern, it's a little bit psychedelic, is that the word? And the length is gorgeous. It finishes in a really elegant place, kind of like mid-ankle. This is a really easy dress to throw on for a summer day and I'm really excited to wear it. I just need some warm temperatures. Another lovely colourful number, which again, could be a great pregnancy dress, just saying, from Misa Los Angeles, so pretty. Another really fabulous pattern. Um, this is giving me Palm Springs and Palm Beach, all the palm vibes. Um, so, so pretty. It's got these little ties you can see that I'm doing up at the waist, which you can use to cinch yourself in at the waist, or you could let them completely out and have it as more of an A-line dress. It's got little pockets here, which is lovely. And this one is a little bit longer, so you can see it's um, still showing the ankles, so very feminine, very pretty, great holiday dress. This is quite a nice modest dress as well. I don't know if the V is a little bit low if you need to dress modestly. I love the big billowy sleeves. This is giving me dinner in Ayana Beach Club in Ibiza vibes. And um, I really want to go to Ibiza. Okay, my darlings, this is the next one. Excuse me while I just adjust myself. So here we have got a very floaty, very easy to wear blue and white dress, which is such a pretty color combination. I have to say from the word go, this dress is so lightweight. If you are going to Lisbon on a weekend break and you've got limited baggage allowance, then this is perfection. You've got smocking around the waist, which gives you a billowy bardo top. Um, you've got elastication around the sleeves, a little tie detail at the back there. Also the kind of fabric that doesn't crease, so this is a fantastic one to shove in your beach bag for a nice, lightweight, easy thing to wear after a day on the beach. Fantastic. This dress really reminds me of another dress that I own from Tory Burch, I think the other one is. And one of my favourite photos of all time was taken in said dress when we were shooting under the now infamous Blossom Tree in Notting Hill. I used to shoot photos under this tree like eight years ago and now influencers in London queue up to take photos under this tree, it's hilarious. Um, but yeah, we one day we were shooting this dress, I think we were shooting a Pandora campaign and the most friendly golden retriever in the whole world came to say hello and would not, would not leave us alone while we were shooting. So we took some adorable pictures with him, including this one, and it's one of my favorite photos of all time. And um, yeah, this dress reminds me of that dress and it's so lovely, so lightweight. And again, it's um, a really nice length, very pretty, show off your footwear. This would be a great one if you're going to like, you know when you go to places like Mallorca, the towns have fiesta blancas, like white parties, to be fair, most people do wear white, um, but a lot of like towns have these evenings where everyone just starts dancing and this would be a really fun one because it's got a bit of movement. Yes, can you tell I'm craving a Balearic Island holiday? Whoa, a leg alert. I always feel very um, aerated <laughs> when I'm wearing a dress that's this short, especially when said dress is floaty. I think Freddie needs to have this dress. This is a very Freddy silhouette um, in that it's bouffant sleeves and a very pretty little A-line skirt. I do absolutely love it though and I need to wear things like this more often. Do you know what? I just, I'm always worried that you can see my buttocks because I can feel a breeze and I'm not used to feeling a breeze when I wear my long midi skirts. There's no breeze on my buttocks. So um, <laughs> I just feel like when I move you can see it. But 
I don't think you can, can you? Unless you are stood... <laughs> I'm trying to look in all the mirrors to see if you can see my bottom. I don't think you can. Anyway, let's try and be civilised because this dress deserves a civilised demonstration. This one is from Leo Lin, which is an Australian designer who I absolutely adore. I wore this dress into town the other day. I wore this when we did the talk at George Smith. Um, I never properly showed it to you, but it's just gorgeous and I want to wear it again very soon. It's really nice for this time of year because the fabric is a bit thicker and yet the pattern is very much a nod to spring. Maybe I'll just whack that one on for you in a second. Time dependence. But yes, I think the fabric of this one is like a green and white toile de jouie with the belt. You can obviously cinch it in and create whatever silhouette your heart desires. Puffy sleeves with a big cuff, little cute collar. Um, and again, little raffia shoes, little raffia bag. That is just the most adorable little summer outfit. I think it's gorgeous. I feel really pretty in this and I'm just thinking, when can I wear it? I also think that a puffy skirt gives the illusion of slimmer legs because of the contrast between the skirt and the legs. I love it. I just wish it was warm enough to wear it. So this is the other Leo Lin dress, which I did show you, although not very well, I didn't show it to you very well when I did the talk at George Smith. I wore this and I felt wonderful. I think the top half of it being a little bit more structured, I felt very smart. It's actually not padding in the shoulders, but it does have a really nice shoulder detail. Um, I think for the talk I wore, unsurprisingly, a raffia belt, but this is a really thick white belt, which actually came with another of my Leo Lin dresses, my, I call it my Abu Dhabi dress because of this photo, um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's that dress, you'll be able to see in that picture, um, that this belt came from, if not it was the white version of that dress, and it actually works really well. Yes, I love that. So with this one, again, pockets, again, nice length. I've worn the raffia heels. Unsurprisingly, I did at the event wear little brown boots and it also looks really nice with brown boots. But I think it looks even better with raffia. As I said, perfect for this time of year. It's a really smart dress. If you can get away with wearing stuff like this for work, then it'd be a fabulous work dress. Equally wedding guest, equally Chelsea Flower Show, Wimbledon, Henley, Ascot. This dress takes a lot of dress code rules. So yeah, I think it could be a very versatile one. And I know that this dress I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of, because it's just, it feels very practical. And I love it. Ooh, <laughs> I did not realize that this dress had such a sensual slit in it. My goodness. The final piece that I'm gonna share with you tonight, this is a gorgeous dress from Holland Cooper. They have released their summer collection and it is quite, ooh, don't tread on it, Doris. It's, oh, that was a bit rude. <laughs> it's quite wonderful. So we have got this gorgeous floating, I've just realized there's a belt. Oh gosh, this is even better than I ever imagined. It's got a belt. Didn't notice that the first time around because there's so much floating fabric. I mean, when you walk, it just gives the most sensual glimpse of your thigh. Oh la la. There we go. You could remove that and add your straw belt if you wanted to. Crisscross design. It's almost got a train. If you're a little bit taller than me, it probably wouldn't skim on the floor, but for me it does. You've got elasticated details on the sleeves. Such beautiful detail as you'd expect from Holland Cooper. This lovely little gold button, beautiful frill detail on the sleeves, and I have some accessories. Okay, I'm sorry, I feel like a Victoria's Secret model <laughs> walking in this because it just has the most beautiful movement to it. When you walk, it literally looks like, you know how the Victoria's Secret models have those like capes? attached to their wings, <laughs> it's giving it's giving those vibes. How gorgeous are these golden metallic sandals? I cannot wear them with this dress because I'm not tall enough. I need heels with this dress, but with little white shorts and a gorgeous little shirt, they are stunning. Oh my gosh, <gasps> the cutest. 
the cutest little raffia clutch. How gorgeous for your summer holidays. And then they also sent this beautiful, very colorful silk scarf. So what you could do is you could wrap this around the handle of your big beach bag to make it look even more fabulous. Or if you're very talented at doing funky things on your head, you could maybe do like a, I don't know, do I look like I belong on Sex and the City? It's giving Carrie Bradshaw. Maybe for like day two at a festival, if you're a festival goer, to hide a bad hair day. I always look a bit silly when I try and do things in my hair, aside from adding ribbons like this into a ponytail, but a silk scarf always comes in very handy, especially on holiday. You never know if you're going to get caught out somewhere where you just want to have something over your shoulders, to keep the chill off or if you want to obviously again not with a dress like this but I like that deep blue stripe in it almost gives it a little bit of a nautical vibe imagine this over a white shirt that would look absolutely gorgeous so there we go, some really stunning new things in my wardrobe for spring and summer. Everything will be linked down below. Can't decide my favourite, they are all absolutely beautiful. Can't stop staring at the pattern on this. It's almost like an Italian palazzo fabulous <laughs> vibe. Perfect beach dress, super lightweight, gorgeous for on holiday. If you're invited aboard someone's yacht, in the south of France, then this is what you should wear. Anyway, darlings, tragically, I'm going to pop my leggings back 